and i think green is green is fine don't you think so i mean our green is shining <laughs> anyway we got what we wanted so yeah this is our last meal spag and beans tomorrow we'll fly <laughs> yeah i'm done packing everything i have everything i need if you open the lights, always keep a pair with people in the face of the sky. Can you see what we have here? Like, I just opened the mail box and I saw my baby's birth certificate. Like, I can't even believe this because. I literally cried this morning because this people have been me here and I just came this morning to check if he's here or I already booked my trip to you know passport office I was like I, I, I'm going to go anyway whether he's here or not I just came and opened this and he's here oh my god I'm so excited like I'm so 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 excited so guys we are going to the passport office now So guys, we are on our way to the passport office and like I said, I encountered a whole lot of delay on this process and if you're hoping to give birth here in Canada, then you just have to watch these videos. Um, I have like a series of giving birth in Canada that are upcoming. So just try and watch them so you can, you know, prevent being delayed like I was. So here we are going to the mall to collect the passport. And the queue was very long when we, when we got to the mall as usual because it's always, always long. But then because I had a, I had a pass, <laughs> I wanted to say boarding pass. Because I had a pass, I didn't have to wait. I just went in with my appointment later and um, I waited for them to call on me. And then I got my passport, my blue card. Oh my God, I was so excited. I was super duper excited. This was me back home to my to my airbnb and which was um by the way seven minutes away from there i can't believe i'll be going home finally with my baby girl like there are so many lots like so many protocols that you know i had to go through so many processes in this country that's just too tiring but anyway let's go home and prepare because like i've waited for so long to go home like oh my god i can't believe this is finally happening like i'm finally going home to see my baby get to my manda like <sighs> it's been a whole long two months of my life. i think this is the longest two months of my life um, yeah it's two months and some weeks yeah so guys um can't wait to go home i can't wait to go home it's my newborn baby hello <laughs> Oh, it's my baby girl. <laughs> okay, so let me finish the packing. I'll get back to you guys. Bye. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a happy day in our lives because I'm finally leaving tomorrow. Yeah, um. <laughs> so, right now, I'm packing, I'm rounding up with the packing of our stuffs and I'm making the last meal and I'm doing laundry because I want to clean up the house for them before leaving tomorrow so hmm I'm a, i've seen shit i'm not really shit but i've gone through a lot i've i've gone through a whole lot i've gone through a whole lot this past month like you know and i'm so happy i'm finally going home especially to meet my baby yechima amanda so like i said i'm making our last meal i'm making spag and beans let me show you guys so yeah this is our last meal spag and beans and it's looking like it's gonna it's gonna be very nice here yeah? it's going to best tomorrow so yeah it's almost ready i just need it to shimmer it then um doing the laundry as well i'm i'm drying it now 
So once the, the laundry is done, I'll pack up the, the clothes and um, tidy up the... I have to... But I have a lot of things to do. I have to pack these fruits. I have to pack these fruits so that I can eat them. Um, um, I can eat them in the flight. Because I'm sure they're going to give me lots of calories up there. So... I'm just going to pack them along so that I can use it. I can snack on them, literally. Then, um, what else? I'm almost done packing my bag. I'm almost done packing my bag. Let me show you guys what brought us here. Can you see? This is why I left my country to come here and give it. Like, hey. <laughs> This is my own, this is my baby's own. And I think green is green is fine. Don't you think so? I mean our green is shining. <laughs> anyway, we got what we wanted and we are going because we have things to do, you know. So yeah. That's it. My almost three months here, all for this. Mm, anyway. It was good while it lasted and I'm going and I'm going to miss this scary view of mine. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really happy I'm going. Like, I'm so, so, so excited to be going home. So, hey Canada, to when we meet again. To when we meet again. Let me finish up my packing and um, round up on everything hello guys so i'm done packing my bags and tomorrow we'll fly tomorrow we'll fly <laughs> yeah i'm done packing everything i have everything i need ready you know um so i can't wait to fly flying with a newborn baby it's gonna be interesting and i'm all there for the experience yes so guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and comment don't forget to you know why is my face glowing is it because of the sun the evening sun is magical on my body okay see you guys tomorrow at the airport i think that's when this i'm gonna be vlogging at the airport Happiness won't kill me. Why no go kill me? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> um, this is my last night here in Canada for now, and I'm just taking my time to admire this beautiful country. Wow, why will Lagos be like this? No, no, really. When we like, when we Lagos be this beautiful i mean there are so many um cars on the road and there is no noise can never be lagos so many cars like so many cars on the road this is a major road there are so many cars there there are so many cars there it's uh can you see that's like a highway itself. But there is no noise. No noise. No single noise. Come on. I'm going to miss everything. Um, until I come back again. It's really a quiet city. It's really a quiet city. Right is here. And we have we have 
a very bright day today. You know, that's my idea. Hello. Give me a view. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so really excited. Good morning. Okay. Oh my god. So this was me going to the mall okay, um, to get a few things before going to the airport because I had an evening flight. Yeah, so uh, this was me leaving the building. <laughs> By the way, this is the building and they are very tall and massive. Uh, I think they are like the center of Mississauga. 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 That's the name. <laughs> Before I learned how to pronounce this um, this city, it was I used to just say anything I like. So yeah, this was me at the mall. I went there to get a few things that I needed for my travel because the mall was like close to the airport. So I didn't want to go to the mall and then go back again to the house, then go to the airport. So this was me at the mall. After um, getting the few things I need, I then um, got this shawarma um, from one Indian store. I think the the, um, the shawarma kingdom. That's like the name of the store, and it's very nice. Like it's very healthy. So yeah, this was me at the airport when I got there, because I was um, supposed to come with a 23 kg load of bag. Or 23 kg bag <laughs> sorry so when i got there my 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 bag was 25 yeah so they told me i should have that i'm entitled to two bags so i have to go and repackage that if i had any bag on me i should just bring a few things from the bigger one and put in the in the other bag so that i can check in two bags for me but i didn't have any well covered bag just this walmart bag that i had so i had to put a few things into the walmart but i was just like doing trial log initially i want, actually wanted to um maybe you know this um wrap this wrap i wanted to like bind it or be wrap it so that um they can check it in but they said no they can't check in um something like that well i said okay um so i had to okay so they told me to the manager there said, oh, you know what, since you're also going with a child, that the child is also entitled to a bag, that instead of um, bringing it out into in two bags, that, that they will give me a heavy tag, um, a tag, heavy, heavy load or heavy package or anything kind of like that, so that instead of going with two bags, I can just check in the one bag. Wow. I said, okay. So I got back here and I repacked it. I and put back everything but then this was me when i was putting it into this walmart bag initially i honestly just carried everything that i didn't need like something that if i should get to nigeria and they said oh we couldn't find this or this one got lost i will not even bother so much so that's it so after packing i then went back to the woman and i and she gave me my boarding sleep so um by the way i went there with my baby's car seat i wanted to check in the car seat as well but they said that they can that they only check in car seats at the at the plane that's before i enter the plane finally they will collect the car seats from me and check in um and check in the car seat and then i'll pick it up when i get to lagos so um i said okay so, but then I had to carry the baby in a car seat because it was just car seat. It was not a stroller. So it was kind of hard carrying her all, all around. You know um, how you have to walk. You have to walk, walk, walk before you get to um, your gate number. But then this good Samaritan woman called um, their club or their club van, club vehicle, all those vehicles that convey um, people carrying babies or people in in wheelchair to their gates. So the woman called the vehicle for me and they helped me to carry the carry my baby with the car seat to our gate. If not, I for work. I for work. Hey, Omo, this travel kit 
um, lots of stress lots of um lots of stress yeah and anticipation 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 i hope that's the right word <laughs> okay so um i don't know so this was me when i finished separating it and i wanted to check if it's now 23 kg like the year 23 kg that was before the manager told me that um you know what you can you put back everything and you know um it will give you a heavy tag instead of a normal tag so um this was me trying to check if it's up to 23 kg so i'm going to wait now to check if it's 23 kg so now we have 22.8. So I think we are good to go. Okay. Now oh, I have a restaurant load, which is this one. I just carefully wrapped it so that it can, you know. But honestly, I don't even care about the item inside this thing. That's why. Okay, I'm going to go back to the lady now to get my chicken. To complete the chickens. Details of the problems or whatever. So after we got our boarding sleep, um, we now got to our gate. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, we now I'm doing voiceover. So yeah, this was me on the vehicle I told you guys about. And um, I think, oh yeah, this is the vehicle. This is the vehicle um, that conveyed us from where we checked in to um, our gate. Like, oh my God, I for work tired. Like, as you can see, these uh, um, people, they are walking um, to their gate. Um, I think someone have to call the, the this club vehicle for you before you can use it. Like it's not something that you just you know do. So here is my gate um, E seventy six. Actually, this is Utopia. <laughs> yeah, this is Utopia. Um, this was when we got Utopia, and this was me in the plane. Um, well, everything went well. Um, I was given a free seat um, on my way coming. Um, yeah, I was given a free seat and the flight went well. I was able to breastfeed my baby without. I was um, able to breastfeed my baby without anything. So here, um, we arrived safely and um, to God be the glory, everything went well. And I'm in my house as I'm saying this voice over.